Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big Check, check, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Mr. Mako. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know, Madea. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, we are on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon. I mean, even threads. So we would love your support because, you know, we keep dishing out this content. So if you want to see it, you got to support. You got to subscribe. You got to buy our membership on YouTube or on Patreon. You see our full length interviews way before any other clips come out. Thank you in advance. No, they're going to have to buy it first. I'm not thanking them in advance. I need my money. Uh, y'all won't watch. No, I'm just kidding, man. Thank you, everybody, for watching Boss Talk, man. We got a very special guest in there today, man. He don't need no introduction, man. Well, maybe he do. You know what I'm saying? This guy, he's been out, out, out of sight for a minute, mm -hmm. and out of sight sometimes out of mind. I heard a few things come through, the, you know, when he was gone. Like, man, is he back out? You know what I'm saying, man? Twisted Black is in the building, man. Thank you for having me. Thank man, you having me. it's you good to see you, man. Good for Appreciate good that you're home. Yeah, man, it's a blessing. Man, I mean, you know, being one of those guys that, you know, you go in and you come out, and I know when you came home, the adrenaline rush, what's going to be happening, how's it going to be, being around a lot of people, being able to be by yourself. Oh, my God. Being able to be by yourself take on a whole new meaning when you've been locked up. People don't realize that. Mm -hmm. you, you you know what you're saying. <laughs> tell you. Then you then you be by yourself so much. Sometimes you prefer to be, to be by right. yourself, unless unless I'm with my wife. You know, mm -hmm. That's cool. I, something you know that other than a man. Yeah, yeah. Than a man around. That's you know right. I mean? That's yeah. so right. Well, I know how Mister Maker do it, man. Let's get down to it, man. It's time yeah. to roll. I like to get to know you as a person growing up because a lot of times the situations we end up being in as an adult stems from our nourishing as a childhood. True. So I want to know, um, you were born and raised in Fort Worth? I was born in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, yeah. Yes, you were. Yeah. Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. Um, what part? Uh, uh, West Side. West Side? Finkelman Manor. How old were you when you left? Two years old. <laughs> so you don't remember nothing about it? Well, well, my father stayed in Detroit, so I would go home every uh, summer to mm. stay with him and the rest of my family. So, okay. So, yeah, you know, kind of hybrid, you know. But So, really, all I remember was Texas, besides the summer with my father. Right. You know, so. so your mom and dad wasn't together? No. Um, <clears throat> when did they break up? It happened before I... They broke up before I woke up, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did that ever affect you, like, moving back and forth, not having your father in the same household or your mother in the same household with your father? Uh, truthfully, yeah, it did, but I didn't know it at the time, mm -hmm. right? As, I, as you get older, you start to realize, like, damn, what, what's wrong? You know, you start to see a pattern from way back. So I believe that when... When actually, when my father died, because he died when I was eleven, oh wow. that's when I, I kind of turned left. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't know it at the time, but when I look back, you know. So yeah, I think you know, going not having a father in the house is always going right, know, the, right. You know, the child. Yeah, and that's what I always feel. But the blessing that you had is the fact that you actually had him there. You were able to go back and forth because you have a lot of boys who fathers weren't in their lives at all. They didn't even know who their father was. True. You know, so at least you had that um, structure somewhat. As much as it wasn't in the same household, right. you have that. So a lot of times we have to count the blessings that we do have and not really always look at the negative. Um, but tell me about your mom growing up, though. Um. She was, I mean, which which aspect? But she is so many because she was just really a, a, a nurturing, protective woman, you know. Um, just you know, gave me a lot of love, you know, and she wanted me to be the best me, you know. So like, I wasn't really athletic, and you know, didn't have a lot of talent. But you know, you never know by your mother. So how many siblings? No. I, just you, yeah. by boy, yourself. The boy is single. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, he, he basically just the only kid. Got everything. Yeah, small. Small brat. <laughs> well, you know, that, was, that was really my father, because my father was a street guy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He was, he, was, uh, he was really notorious on the west side of Detroit, so my mother actually brought me to Texas to get me away from Away that, from that. You know, on the cool. So mm. wow. she brought me down here because, not that Texas was soft, they just were a little... A little more slow than the Midwest, right? Then. So, 
she brought me here and um you know trying just trying to hoping that i wouldn't end up like him mm -hmm. and i ended up like him just like you know? him. because you can't really run away from it you know what's in you you know especially when you you turn, make a, a detour. Wow. So really, it just depends, though, in life. You know, once you become a parent, and I always ask all everybody who sit there, you know, all these questions because so many parents out here are struggling with their kids, don't know what to do to try to get them to mm -hmm. not turn left, to turn right. You know, some parents move. Some parents try to give them everything they have. Money, can, they think money can buy everything, but I've met people who sat in that seat who say that my parents had everything, but I still ended up on the streets, selling dope, doing this, doing that. I didn't have to, but the streets was calling. Right. You know, so it's like, what can you do as a parent to keep these kids? And in my mind, I'm like, just keep talking to your children. It's not always about money. It's not always about you running from certain situation. It's really educating the kids. And sometimes if you have a son, a mom can't always educate that child. You mm -hmm. need a man to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it, that's my perspective on it. What do you think? Well, you, I agree with you. What you said, you know, what you said holds weight. But sometimes a man is not the answer because... Let, let's just say sometimes a male is not the answer. Mm -hmm. You know, because a lot of times... Young, younger women, not all women, you know, will allow a male into that, to the, the child's boy's life. life or whatever, thinking that that's the answer. But then if, if he, if he all fucked up, then, you know, then it's going to kind of, the, the kid is going to mimic that to right. a degree. So, you know, I, I don't, I don't know the, the answer to that really, you know, it's just, you just try to, try to do the best you can, do the best you can. So, you know, I come from a, a home where mom and dad broke up. See, you don't mm -hmm. know nothing about that. Anyway. Now, my parents been together they were forever. Young for 48 years, but mine, they <laughs> left. At nine, she bailed on him, you know. Yeah. And the nigga was drunk all the time. So I knew already I wasn't going to be able to <laughs> go with mama. I stayed with dad. I ain't going to lie because I wanted to be like my daddy. You know what I'm saying? Of course. I drunk really, all the time. Well, if he was drunk, I drank a course every now and then. Wasn't nothing wrong with it back then. You know, you yeah. nine, ten, it ain't going to do it. Go right through, you're going to pee a lot. You know what I'm saying? So I basically, yeah, I went with Dad, worked with Dad, and he had his own business. So I learned some things. Even though I got in the streets early on, I still learned a lot from my father. You know what I'm saying? And my uncles and stuff. I, I didn't want to be around a woman like that. Right. I mean, I did go with my mom, but when I did go with I wanted to be with my pop. I was trying to make some money early when I was young. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're always trying to figure out what is it going to take. I would ask God things like, man, what am I doing here early? from four? I remember five years old thinking like that. What is this? The world. You know what I'm saying? It's a thing that I done. I don't know if every kid done that. You know what I'm right. saying? I used to really be intrigued by just being a human on this earth, bro. Right, right. I mean, it was tripped out to me. I don't know what the you hell. was just strange. I guess. Shoot. But at the end of the day, I never did. I found it when I found out who God was, really, you know, because I really was just questioning a lot of things, you know. Really just want to be, you know, great. Nigga, what's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, but the fact that you was even asking God at, yeah. at an early age, yeah. you, know, that, that, you know, that's a testament to where you was headed anyway. I was know? trying to figure it out, but I, it took me a long time to get there. Yeah, on Twisted Black, yeah, I ain't going to lie. I was, it wasn't easy to get to who I wanted to be. Who you tell <laughs> <laughs> but it's a age. They said wisdom comes with age, yeah, so it's, you it's, have to go through things to get that wisdom. Indeed, you know, and and that's true to a certain extent, you know. But I used to believe that wholeheartedly until until prison, when I started being around a lot of old fools. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. you run into old fools and you realize that the wisdom don't just come with the age. Not and all, it, yeah. It, 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 I believe, and this is don't make it right. I believe that the wisdom comes with you embracing your experiences, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you learning from those experiences or other people's experiences because, some, you know, some of us, you know, just get old and we be right. old and foolish. When you, know? when you, okay, when you get shot, okay, mm -hmm. how old were you? 19. You were 19. And how long had you been on the streets at that time? Or in the streets? In the streets, since, uh, I say, uh, you know, I kind of got off the porch early because here's the tricky part. Like my father, when you talk about my father, so yes, yeah, it was good to have my father there. Yeah. But he was a street guy, and my father had me when he was 55. He had, wow. He had did 19 years in prison, and so he had no other children. Mm -hmm. So he um, poured everything into you. He did, and and but he didn't know much. You know, this was. He just wasn't, you know, he just knew how to, he was a professional boxer. Yeah. Mm. So, and he was a hustler. Yeah. And and he was a kind man. He had dice yeah. games. He had after-hour spots, all the, the big. He cutting on six and eight. 
it, it with the crooks. Mm-hmm. Cutting on six and eight, he, he had them cards, he had them damn Bro, cards. I, I remember when I was little, he had the belt, you know, the belt with the magnet in the belt. Yeah. Belt. Okay. <laughs> so you know he had the crooks in the game. So you know, just stuff like that. So he he kind of, you know, I watched him. He didn't necessarily t- try to do it, but I'm watching But he like, took you everywhere with him. Everywhere. That's Taught what it is. Taught me how to read a room if somebody was lying. You know, he would, you know, pull me in and see if I could do good or not. You know, it's, it wasn't, I'm not proud of it. You how know? old were you? Man, I, in between uh, zero and eleven. Yeah, because he died yeah, at eleven. So you know, me too. Yeah, I was with my so. daddy. I can remember being in there begging him to leave the the, the, the dice game. I'm in there with him. Yeah. Three, four, five years. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I always talk I about remember. that. Same thing. Yeah. Because so, you witnessed him getting I didn't shot. Know we might. We got a little bit in common. Yeah, man. yeah, my daddy got shot in the head in the gambling in, shack. In the gambling shack. Oh wow. Man. Yeah, and he kept no, the bullet in his lived. pocket. He lived. No, he lived. He a bad <laughs> man. Nigga, he just keep the bullet in his pocket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. You know. But that was a different time. I had uncles that got shot in the club and that's the country. Or life. shot somebody right. in the okay. club. I got uncles that shot people in the club and he ended up at the same hospital with them. And I, I'm I'm being real crazy stuff. Yeah. Or or Ken people that I know one set up they both one of them they both dead now, but brothers that killed another brother in a shootout. Mm-hmm. Just different stuff in the country. It, it happens, bro. Kill their own brother? Yeah. Yeah. Can and able. Yeah, that, that's it. That's that was the first example, about. right? It happens, it happens, right? So it just it, it just be things be moving quick, man. Yeah. People get into arguments. That's the way it is. Um but so, I had a question. Hold on, hold on, before you go on. So when your father passed away, how did he die? He died of emphysema. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, emphysema. You smoke all the time? Well, he worked in the steel mill. Okay. Yeah, and the and uh, the dust particles got in his lung. No, he, I, I don't ever remember him smoking. Wow! So were you there smoke. when he passed? Yeah, I was. I, and um, uh, I, I wish you could go back and do it differently, but I, you know, I just I went to the hospital like once because I was up there, you mm-hmm. know, and, and, and it, the chemo had him kind of, you know, not rec- he used to treat me like a piece of glass, you know. So when he saw me, he was talking crazy. So I didn't, I didn't really want to go back. You yeah. didn't understand because you were a yeah, child at yeah, that time. Yeah, I just thought, you know, because he had cursed at me. I'm like, dang, cursed at me. I mean, yeah, I'll catch you later. You know? mm-hmm. but then he died, you know, maybe three weeks later. But uh, so, you know. And everything yeah. went left for you after that. Well, it did, but I didn't realize it was going left. And I look back now, I really, all this, I reflected, you, you would understand, I reflected on all of this when I was in prison because, mm-hmm. yeah. hell, I didn't know I was unstable mentally until I got to prison. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you started. I'm like, why every time I have good intentions, or if you and I are having a conversation, why is my processing different from your processing, yeah. you know, what you, if you're considered normal, right? So why am I so quick to run into a nigga? You know, and you'll be like, hold up, Why, what is that? Because I, I ain't on no tough guy mm-hmm. time now, but it was just, you know, I was. I anger was built up. It wasn't even anger. No, I said he's self checking. Yeah, and really? I, it, I don't, no, I, was, I never been an angry kid or an angry adult. You yeah. Know? I could have a cold fight right now with and be calm. Yeah, I don't of want course. To fight again, you know, I'm older now. <laughs> but it was just my process, and, you know. Yeah. My dad taught me to shoot guns. And just, he, he taught me wrong, let me just to be honest, you know what I mean? So. I wrote the judge a letter and told him, hey, man, look, the Bible say train up a child in the way it should go. Mm. And he did that. But everything he knew was wrong, man. So yeah. I accept my responsibility. Mm. I just want you to take that into consideration. You know? Wow. You know? wow. So, but yeah. the crazy thing is that some of the stuff that your father um, had taught you, like scan the room, do this, do that. To me, some of that stuff is just, it it's also can be used for good. It just depends on how yeah. you turn it. Because <clears throat> anywhere you go, you need to be aware of your surroundings. We all teach our kids that. Right. Um, read people because you have so many fake people out here who try to be your friend True. and um, come with ill intentions. And some people are so naive where they trust everybody. But because of certain things that was embedded in you, you might can see quicker than anybody else could. So a lot of certain things that he taught you, you can also use it, you know. Yeah. For good. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go back, like I said, to the place where you get shot. Because mm-hmm. I want to know about that. I, that's what, something that I really, I'm like, how did he end up getting shot? You right. know what I'm saying? I know you would, something was going on. Yeah. Um, I play hard in the street, you know, just like a lot of us do. Um, selling drugs and, you know, I, um, I did my fair share of wrong and, to be honest, so I'm not going to try to make this super gangster or like I know because yeah. I still don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know who. 
Okay. okay. I can guess why and I can guess who. I've guessed why and who a million times, and that got me nowhere. I can just say um, <clears throat> whoever it was, they were square business. They weren't playing because they shot me from the back with a 12 gauge. Okay. And then stood over me to shoot me again. Where did this happen? At Don Carter's bowling alley in Fort Worth. So was it a place that was full that night or yeah. was it? Yeah. So a lot of people was around. And yeah. who were you? You Were you there with friends or you were there by yourself? I was yourself? there with one of my good friends that's passed away right now. Um, okay. So we were, we were there drinking, you know, cel- cel- well, you know, not celebrating, but, you know, just having a good time because he was having to turn himself in. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You know? So he called uh, a girl and some other chick that once been had trying to get at me for the longest or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so really, long story short, and to sum it up, I got tricked mm-hmm. in, in, you know, into the conversation with the chick. And so while I was uh, out, when I went to the parking lot, kind of from what I can remember, because it's cloudy, you know, you know, you see those movies and people mm-hmm. really don't remember. And it's, it's a real thing. That's a real thing. Mm. And and, it, and where's your camera? Did I'm listening? all three of these? Okay. <laughs> and the people that shot me know I don't remember. Mm. They, yeah. they, they know that. They know that. And they're happy about it. I mean, you know, either. Mm. It, but they know. I don't know. You know okay. But yeah, I get where you come from. So it's from the back. She was talking to you right yeah, here. Yeah. I, I was kind of kneeled down in the car, you know, talking to her. You know, how you get out and put your arms up on mm-hmm. the window. And I remember somebody calling my name, like, hey. So and so and so and so, and I turned, walked a couple steps toward him, and he asked me if I knew, if I can remember correctly, asked me if I knew somebody named Kevin or something like that, or Kale or something, something like that. And I was like, nah, nigga. I, but this particular night, I wasn't strapped. We playing a game. This is our guy at work playing a game. Me and my cousin Shannon, my best friend Caddy, and uh, my other partner that I was with, Wayne. Uh, uh, I'm playing a game, so I ain't have my strap. And when I turned back around to walk back toward the car, you know how you could pull up a 12 gauge and you can hear the barrel mm-hmm, rattle? Mm-hmm. It's like I heard the barrel. I didn't hear the cock I just heard the barrel rattle. Mm-hmm. When I turned back, he was already there. And I, and kind of went, you know, my instincts made me go on my toes, you know. And so he had it to the back of my head. And when I went up, it, it went in right here. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and it came out like, like that. Yeah. Mm. So that's how it ends up just... Yeah, it went in here, but, but I went on my toes. So, it, the barrel so you... Down. I'm not going to say lucky. That was God. Oh, that, that, was, ain't, yeah, that, that ain't no... Definitely you know, God. That was God. <clears throat> it was. Definitely God. But after that, though, okay, you know, sometimes I'm trying to figure out what your state of mind was after that because some people be like, man, I'm going to change my life because right. I know God trying to tell me something, blah, blah, right. blah. But the other set of people be like, man, I'm on a different temperature now because right. I'm going to this, this, this. So what was your temperature after something like that? Um, you know, like I said before, I said some people get shot and you know you had to come to Jesus. Mm-hmm. It's time for me to straighten up. And uh, I was the exact opposite. I, um, I wanted who did it. I wanted them bad. And uh, how long did it take you to heal? I want to mm-hmm. go back to that because okay. I don't. We kind of skipped up. I okay. Wanna, okay. How, like when you when you, how do how long did I know you out of it? When this happened, are you are you are you stable enough to see what's going on after that? Well, I thought somebody had um, beat for me. I thought you know we Nick, call it in Texas. Yeah, hit you. Yeah, you know stole me, but I, I said they had to hit me with a bat. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what it felt like. Yeah. Wow. In my mind, at the in time, your mind, you know. So you didn't realize that. Part of no, face was gone. O- only time when I realized it is when I say uh, my best friend ran over. And he said, "This don't die." I say somebody beef on me, and so I put, remember putting my arm up trying to get up. He said, "No, nah, lay down." Somebody shot you in the back of the head, and then I, when I turned my head this way, now I could see the blood pooling up, and I just said a prayer. I said, "God, have you ever been with me? Be with me now." Now I'm not hurting. You know, a lot of people are like. Hey, is it hurt real bad? It was more of a throb. You know how you get a headache sometime or a toothache and you can just feel that boom. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was more of that. And just like a deep hurt, like, but not like excruciating, you know. I don't know. I'd never been shot with little bullets. Mm-hmm. This was a 12 gauge slug. So um, when I looked to the side, I could see that, that pool up and that's when I kind of, you know, got a little. I didn't really get nervous. I just d- didn't want to die. You know? And I think that helps that you didn't. But get I was there. drunk. So that that helps. That really. So helps. that helps when you get <clears throat> yeah, shot. Yeah, that helps because you don't get me from going in the shot. Oh. Ah. Yeah. And so. some white guy ran out and held my legs up. One of my other friends named uh, Lucky. He was there, you know. Um, so you know, just 
Yeah. So how long did it take you? When you went to the hospital, you stayed at the hospital how long? I re- you know, I don't want to give you false information, but I think I may have been in the hospital, you know, a couple, maybe a month or so. Yeah. But it took, I was paralyzed, right? I was paralyzed uh-huh. on, my, on my left side. Right? Okay. And so um, your right controls. I was about to say on your left side, but you got yeah. shot on your, yeah, your right, your right side. Your left. You yeah. Know? Oh. It's crazy, right? See, because even now this show, I'm really insecure about the shoulder, you know, yeah. because it'll, it'll lean down. Because as you get out, it, the bullet was, was uh, so impactful that it, it uh it, it shifted my spine just a little bit about wow. a fingernail. But wow. as I grew, especially it when I went to prison, started lifting weights and growing, because I was only nineteen. Yeah, it shifts, you know. Wow. So, so that's what makes this kind of go down. So I tend to bring it up, you know, just unconscious. Unconscious. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yes. How long did you take for your um? Okay, so it was paralyzed on that side. How long did you take to about get the feeling? Months. About six months, yeah, like I got. So you couldn't move it with, at all yeah, or anything like no, that? No, I couldn't move it for probably, uh, I'd say about a month. But then what it was is the motor skills were affected because they had to take an artery out of my thigh, put it in my neck, yeah. oh, okay. out of my uh, ankle. to You know, they, they mm-hmm. Frankenstein me, put mm-hmm. me back together, you know what I mean? So How many surgeries? Um, like two. Uh, the first surgery when I came out, my play sister, the, the doctors didn't even notice that I was paralyzed. Wow. It took her. It took Pete to see that... Um, you couldn't Because she was doing like a hand. She was always grown. You know, even when we was she wasn't even a nurse or nothing. She, no, heck no. She was just like, hey, feel my hand. See if you could, you know, she gave me all the oh, properties. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, and then she realized I couldn't do anything on the left side. Mm. They rushed me back in for another, like, 11-hour surgery or something like wow. that. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, they put me back together. They put you back together. Yeah, Frankenstein me. That's hard, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was, that's one of the things I wanted to ask you about. I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta ask him about that because that's something man, that, man, you know what I mean? That's something that the, your fans... You got a lot of fans, bro. Man, it's a you know, blessing. you was gone for a long time, yeah. and people still love Twisted Black. It's crazy. And it's crazy. And I just talked about you on the show probably four months ago. I was it, it, it was a thing with me and Kenny yeah. B. Yeah, and okay. Kenny B yeah. was a uh, he was shouting out the Yellow Beezes and the, and they dope. Don't get me wrong, and the Trap Boy Freddies and how he seen them and and the people in my comments went crazy. You know, they yeah. like. He ain't learning. He, he got. He talking about them, man. What about twist it back and go, yeah, yo? You know, mm-hmm. niggas gonna talk right, that. Right, right. T- and you've been mm-hmm. gone a long time, but but for them to come for him like that. Mm-hmm. And so when he came love, back, love. he came back after that. After mm-hmm. he had said that, and I said, hey, man, last time you was on the show, people was really getting at you about the twisted black and 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 the go, yeah, yo, mm-hmm. and uh, the fact that these two guys. And and I said, do you remember them? And he gave his explanation, so I thought that was live. So it's just stuff what like was that. The explanation. I, I'm, believe me, when this clip come out, you will know because it will be him. <laughs> yeah. He will be saying, "You know, I rolled no, up." I can't be. <laughs> but he just can't remember. It ain't a bad thing. No, 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 don't forget no, no, me, no. Baby. no he know. showed love. Right. He yeah, showed no, love, no, man. No, he yeah. he knew already, but yeah. he I think he even talked alluded to even working with you or something. Not or something. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. So, but when believe me, it's gonna come through. You're gonna be like, "Damn, that's where boss talk get out." I got another question about um, because oh you want to go back to the yeah to the because when I think about women us women right mm-hmm. and we go through something like that and then to come out and look in the mirror and realize that you now have this big scar right here you know us women are like oh my god we don't want yeah. nobody to see <clears throat> this we wanted this that whatever as a man mm-hmm. how it, did it affect you? how did it affect you did it was it the same for you as how we deal with it or what um, at the time okay now I mean. 19 year old you yeah right night not only 19 year old I me mean, 19 year by that time i was on a couple of bricks and you know i had about about 40 50 000. i thought i was yeah i thought you was going cars, down yeah me tops, too i babies, remember fresh everything so i thought i was on top no i was super smooth no bumps no <laughs> blemishes no cut i could fight a little bit too you know yeah, yeah you couldn't tell me nothing so yeah now i'm asking you a question my mother this goes back to my mother okay she, she knew so I remember one day in the mirror, I'm going to ask her mm-hmm. detail, but I had this, they did, they had to, they had to stitch the, uh, mm-hmm. the, the um, patch on there. And I caught her looking at me one day, you know, she was changing, it came off and she was changing, so she saw it. changing the dress. And I'm like, what's wrong, mom? And she said, nothing, you know, I just want to, uh, I just don't want that to affect you, you know. Right. And I'm like. Oh, not a, you know, I wasn't worried about it, but it did. 
Not at the time, though. I, you know, because it cost 120000 just to look like this. Mm. And so they wanted to do a cosmetic surgery. I'm like, what's that for? You know, so mm-hmm. we can fix it and, and you know. Right. And I, and I elected not to do it. Um, in hindsight, I would have done it now because what, that can either make you or break you because you can't hide your face right. when you walk in the room. You know, little kids. The are, stairs. They're going to stare. So uh, what I would do because of the way I was built um, is if I see you staring, and remember what my dad taught me, I can see you. I may be looking directly at you. I'm not saying I'm no more special than anybody else. Right. But I was Peripheral taught vision. as a kid. Right. And if I catch you staring, I just turn and look. Like, then they look away. <laughs> yeah. See, now, if, you look, look if away. you look away, well, then, you know, I'm going to treat you with this thing. Mm-hmm. But if you ask the question, like, what happened? But I, I got shot because it was cool, but you got the man up and asked me. Right. You know? So it was hard because it's an insecurity, and then I was young, and so I had to fight against that insecurity. I don't really have it anymore, but to, to a degree. How long did it take to get over it, though? You don't get over it. No, you, you don't, don't ever no, get over it. You never get over it. It just becomes a part of you. You know, my, my record label, Scar for Life Records, my group was one good side. You know, you start yeah. to use so it to use build it. off, and mm-hmm. that's who you are. Like, if somebody's going to say, hey, you know, you know Twisted Black? Nah, who is this? The one with Scar on his face. <laughs> Can't get away from that. Right. And if I had a big nose, but you know, the one with the real big nose. And so you just embrace it, man. Because mm. But it can break you, too. It empowers a lot of other people, too, by the way. I just had to say that. Because so. there's a lot of other people out here who where they're burned victims who right. have to walk around a certain way. Life happens. And for you to move on and yeah. move on, although with confidence, when they see you, you don't look like you don't have confidence. Right. So they're looking at that and be like, man, if he can do that and become this person, I, I sure can do it too. Right. So Why not? you have to use it to motivate others. That's oh, yeah. how I look at it. Um, if it does, then that's great. I didn't look at it like that, you know, but, it, you know, it at this stage of the game, anything to help propel somebody else, man. I'm exactly. Ready, you know what I mean? I, I want to ask you about, during that time, was this before 50 Cent or was it after? Before. Uh, everything. Don't make me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Don't 50 Cent. Because right. cause I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this thing. And, did, yeah. it, and did, it, did it affect your speech? Boom. No. You did. see what I'm saying? Okay, let me ask you all a question. Do y'all think I have a lisp? No. No. Oh, thank you. I, I, that was just a question because my wife is the only person <laughs> that swears I have a list. She, list but, but she only do it to it's make me It's not that mad. bad because all of a sudden now. Oh, y'all. <laughs> women run together, bro. That's one thing. Don't get, okay, caught, okay, up. Okay, okay. Don't get caught up in that. No, Don't it's even not ride. that bad. Don't even ride, bro. You know how? Hey, you know hey, how? hey. Hold you on. ain't got no list with me or him. But it's a woman thing. It's a woman thing, bro. No, no, no. It ain't got nothing to do with us. Hold on. You know how you 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 self-conscious. You might have a spot on your shirt but you got to go out because you, you know you messed it up while you were in the car that's right but you the only one who see it right. but until you go to somebody and like man you see this messed up i messed up they didn't bro, see it till right. you mentioned bro, you it right. no 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 okay. damn that bro okay. let me tell you something okay. before you said that <laughs> right before you said it was your wife right Everything was cool. Yeah, right. Uh-uh. Not saying it was going on. Not saying it was going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was. Right. But no. when you said it was your wife that said it, that woman power thing, man, no. don't get caught up in that, bro. Okay. No, because man, I was looking go straight on, man. in your mouth when you were talking. No, and I'm like, no, I can see it now. No, we were good, man. <laughs> we were good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but hey, man, like. You're not weird stick together like that. We'll be, we'll be mad. <laughs> man, call, we'll take call over. All the rappers, let's. Like Come together. That, so, so when you seen the Fifty Cent thing happen, yeah, what did you think? Well, I've seen it happen so many many times. times. Bro. Like I have a good idea. Not that that was a good idea, but something you know will be in my head, or something will happen in my life, and somebody somebody else will take it and beat me to the punch. Yeah. So I'm watching him, and you know, of course, I was. I'm a fan of music, but I was hating on the fact that he, I'm like, this little bitty ass bullet, what's nigga ain't got no scar? Ain't got no <laughs> you comparing the shots? This nigga shit ain't really nothing. No, but no, no. In your mind, you yeah, have to keep you kinda, young. Yeah, but nah, I wasn't that young. How old was you? Grown, but. Nah, you were young, <laughs> young, man. You know, 50 Cent came out in 2000, what? He was in 2000 by then. I was just like, damn, you know. So now I'm thinking to myself, well, damn, so much for Because that was always going to be my thing. Hey, dude, got shot in the face. You dig what I'm saying? He came back. You yeah. know what I mean? You know, then he kind of beat me to He shot, got shot nine times. Nine times. I think it was five. 
Nine times. They said it was nine. Hey, but salute. the movie showed nine. Salute Somebody <laughs> said three. You know, everybody got it. <laughs> yeah, but you know, hey. But I love, I love his creativity. You can see how he's working now. Be me. Man, Be me. he is. <laughs> oh, you had that idea too. What is you t in prison? All I kept thinking about was TV shows. See, my end game was always the silver screen. I okay. always wanted to, you know, at the end, I want the right plays. I want to do movies and stuff like, which I still will. Yeah. Um, but when he came with BMF. When he can't and, man, and power and shout out to Fifty for doing it, man. He's done it well. But it. having his son play him and all of that, I want to do the same thing, you know. Because my, my son looked just like me. Yeah, you know? yeah. So he, he beat me. Was that, that his son who played Fifty? In yeah, the, I didn't even know That's that. That's hard, man. Yeah, man. He, hey, got reinvented himself real well. That's dope. You beat me to the game <laughs> shot. You beat me to the to the uh, movies. You beat me to the bag. Man, come help me. <laughs> You've been hanging out in Texas. I think you're in Houston yeah, a lot man, now. Man, man, pull up to Fort Worth. Man. man. But, what I, but what I want to tell everybody, because a lot of people, what they do when they see, because nobody thinks, nobody's so unique that they're the only one who think about something. Right. You know, there's a million people thinking about the same thing as just who is first to the punch. But some people get discouraged, like, man, he beat me to it, and then just sit back. Yeah. Okay, it's not... The fact that he beat you to it, but you can come and do the same thing is who does it, does it best. That's right. That's so true. I always yeah. tell people, don't let that discourage you. Do what, still do what you need to do. Right. You never yeah. know where it might end up. What um, you what do you think about the internet? You know, you you come home, mm -hmm. and a lot of people. <laughs> in, let's, let's, let me tell you something. <laughs> a lot of people in Fort Worth, particularly. Mm -hmm. You say I say particularly. Uh, you have a lot of stuff going on over there. Yeah, it's like if you got a tackle box and you're fishing, they got all the right lures. You know what I'm saying? When they get on the internet, man, from OG Percy, from a uh, Tony Real Rich now, Charles, Dwight, all of these different things are happening. Kenny, B uh, Kenny B, uh, Go Yeah Yo did it before he left. He was phenomenal <clears throat> on the internet. What the hell are you about to do? Nothing with the internet. <laughs> But that's the you way right now something. you have to do something. Twisted Black got to do something on the Why internet. Why not? My team. They can do it. I don't. Listen. Oh, they can do it. Here's, you don't have to yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Here's the truth. For real. I don't log on. I don't read the comments. Unless Drew tell me to. If he say, Black, you, this is something you have to do. You have to read the comments so you, so you can respond to it. Then I'll do it because I'm not saying, I don't know about any other body, any other people that are in the entertainment industry, when when fans say something, like... It hurts. Um, no, not necessarily the hurtful part. No, that, oh, that, no I, 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 I can wipe that off. Okay. But I'm sure that it will. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we can act tough all we want, but... Oh, they on Miss Jamaica right now yeah, to come I'm, in. I'm Mr. Sure. I just I'm looked sure. early at the barbershop, and I said, damn, they on her. Should I do something about it? And for do? me, I don't if really you do care. You're going to propel. You're going to help them gonna, to look, get a look. Yeah, they're going to... Nah, okay, that's what I wanted, you know? Yeah. So, you know, but but when... They on them comments. man says, hey, man, I've been rocking with you since one good side, I have a tendency to say, hey, man, I really appreciate it. Because yeah. I do. You exactly. Know, because I'm just a street nigga for real. You know, mm -hmm. I just like the whole rapper stuff. God gave me a gift to be able to put this music together. But I'm really, really, I'm not playing. I'm not trying to, I'm really a street. I'm from the, I'm a mud baby for real. So when somebody said they like my music, man, that's all I ever did. If I'd never done it for the money, never. It was never about the bag. It was about, I wanted you to, to see that I was good. All right. What is it? The good thing about the internet that you're just saying is the fact that you know, the internet came where everybody have access to you and you can hear and see what everybody's <clears throat> thinking compared to back in the days, they had to wait to see you or write a letter to you or whatever. Now everything is so accessible. They feel like they're a part of your life even more. So people use the internet to gain more, mm -hmm. you know, um, fans that way. And even sometimes when you do get the hate, sometimes those are really fans who are just trying to get your attention. I understand that too. Um, that's the wrong way to do it. I know, but but, but <laughs> the internet. Let's let, let's be real. It's the gift and the curse because all the work I put in back in the day, back in our day, I would have been up. You know, if we had the internet. So now this is my first time dealing with the internet because mm -hmm. the internet whole internet thing happened while I was locked up. Right. So this will be my first album that we putting out next month. Um, no CDs, no none of yeah, that sort of stuff. You, you know, Streaming at Scar for Life underscore. <laughs> um, the, that, this would be my first time using the internet so man mm -hmm. I'm excited about I'm excited about seeing you know how fast the views the revenue the views all you know, that and again man the, the money man, guys, guys just good so the money just will come 
but I'm just excited to, to you know, I just love music, you know what I mean? So Wow. Um man Jazzy Mac came on the on the show mm-hmm. and she said that Fort Worth wasn't supporting your son. And this was probably two years ago when she said almost that? two years ago. You know, like, how you come back with it like that? You know what I'm saying? She said that they wasn't supporting. She supported him, of course. But I remember that interview. Yeah. How did um, two years ago when she said that? I, because I, I ask about y'all. I'm, I'm one of them dudes, man. Because you don't realize, but me and you used to be at Peeping Tom together, nigga. I'm a real OG, nigga. I'm not. I got the gold card still. You can't play me in here. <laughs> I really am one that can go there with okay. you. I seen you in the military uh, get out. I had mine on, nigga. Okay. I had my stuff on. I'm a real stump down nigga. Uh, do right was at the damn. Uh, yeah, nigga, don't play with me, man. I'm a real one. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so what I'm telling you is when I tell you these stories, I really knew you. I seen you. I was in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me and another nigga that got killed named Keith McFadden used to be there too. And Frog them back in the day. Nigga, I'm a real, I'm not yeah, nobody yeah. to play with when it come down All to these right. streets. Yeah. I was there, but I'm incognito because I'm not there to be seen. I'm a real street nigga too. Okay. But we ain't trying to be seen when we out there. We try, exactly. not if you ain't a rapper. I'm not a rapper. That's the, so I'm a nigga exactly. that's trying to get away from everything right. they got light. Oh, he's trying to light a move over here. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go next door. I think with KJ was it, the nigga next door that was selling the food. You, nigga, I'm a real <laughs> one. Over there shaking Listen, man. Yeah, he's like, this nigga, no. You man, all yeah, right. all that. I'm down, you know. <laughs> yeah, he was there. You can't make that. <laughs> so, but I'm just saying, you know, when you hear that after all the work you've done and hear that certain things that people didn't do towards your son or the way that they may have seen him because he was your son, you know, <laughs> people don't get a, you know, you don't get a pass because really it puts more light on you when you're a celebrity son, bro. Like I deal with Shardy Low son here. I deal with. Uh, oh, they talked about Pimp C son. Yeah. They talk about Pimp C son. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I, I can tell you some stuff off there, but I'm just saying, I deal with a lot of the sons. You know what I'm saying? Who else son did I deal with? Oh, La, La Soldier Slim. Mm-hmm. I'm one of them more than if I knew your son. Your son probably have been sitting in that seat. I'm right. one of them type dudes. And I would have really appreciated I'm that. one of them dudes. I done did. You go watch Boss Talk, you're going to see that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like, what was the things that you said to encourage him while you was locked up? Because you had to have a community blink. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, my son... That's a good question. I know it is. I'm boss talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> and how old was he when you left? Yeah, he was 13. Okay. Man, 13. Yeah, he 30 now, so. Mm-hmm. I said that's a good question because um, I just put that in a song called Without Me. Wow. Right? Mm. Uh, and, yeah. Okay, so they didn't support my son, right? Right. Not even the street niggas. You know, you had a few sprinkles. You know, mm, mm. and I feel like it makes you question because I did everything right. I'm not a rat, not a homosexual, I'm not a coward. Mm. So if I did everything right in the streets, you know, it's supposed to be a such thing as a full benefits package. Mm. That's right. That we get for the know? family. That's what you would think. Mm-hmm. That's an illusion. In some some cases, just in, 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 in your case, in you're case, speaking about speak your case, right? They didn't give. Man, my son's super talented. Mm. His album, we're working on his album as we speak. That's hard. And guess what? He, ca- I came. So home. you gonna bring him back on here with Are you? Are you kidding me? Stop playing. Keep <laughs> on. Come on. I would love to. Thank you. For it's that. going down. Yeah. I got home and he wanted to play me all his music, mm-hmm. right? And I listened to a few songs and it, it was. Too, I had been hearing it while I was locked up anyway, you know. So, uh, and but. He don't know it when that when he play the music it's killing me because I'm like, who gave you these tracks? Who did this recording? You know, and he's like, Papa, you know, I ain't had the money for studio time. My son's, a, you know, he good guy, you know, um, working, you know, no 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 felonies, you know. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, they didn't get behind him, so um, I'm a little. If anything, I'm. You can say what you want to about me. Just don't get in my personal space. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You do that, then whatever I do according to the law, I can do that. Yeah. You know, then if you just more man, than, more man than me on that day, then so be it. But if yeah. you come in my personal space, then you are gonna get what you're looking for. Yeah. But when you dealing with my my son, the child, right? That's a little different. You feel me? So I, you know, I'm a little bitter about that. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, <laughs> but again, I always say, and he he shakes his head sometimes when I say this, but everything happens for a reason. It yeah. does, yeah, and in its own time. Yeah, it does. So yeah. you know whether to open your eyes to the surroundings, um, for him to realize certain things. You know what I mean? So yeah. God don't make no mistakes. But no. did your son have any kids? Yeah, he, he got a son too. How old is he? Ten. Wow. Let's go. Stop yeah. playing. It's it's a, it's, the generations are there. Yeah, grandpa. Everything that you couldn't do when you did, had the chance that. to do it, yeah. you wow. can put it into that 10-year-old yeah. and bring it all the way back. So yeah. all this stuff is just ways that God done prepared you. I promise. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Yeah, so th this whole thing ain't nothing. Hey, man, listen, man. Ain't nothing stopping nothing. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. I'm trying not to get too comfortable. <laughs> but you're making me get comfortable. That's what everybody's saying. <laughs> That's what everybody's saying. <laughs> Him, uh, Listen, a lot of people, because a lot of people that, that are around me now, my good friends, Jason, Ty, Nolan, Trevor, uh, Big, they all see and they're like, damn, black different. Mm -hmm. You know, and I am. Because it's a hell of a feeling when you know out of everybody, God saw you and heard you. You know what I mean? Cause Come I, on I, now. Man, I was in some dark places. But that's heavy right there. I was down there, man. I was down there. It, you know, I ain't crying about it. It, it, it. We know what we sign up for. I was in some dark places because everybody could do their time, but it's the losses you take when you what? in the prison. Well, that's real. I mean? To lose, you know, everybody fall, right? But if you were here and you mm. fall a little bit harder because you higher up. Higher up, up. yeah. I had the American dream. I came from the mud and I had nine deals on the table when I, when I went to jail. Yeah. And and they knew it. And they and not only that, and they used to the kick her. I went to jail for dope I never sold. It wasn't mine. I didn't do it. I yeah. just didn't tell. Yeah. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, uh, man, God saw me. So right now, I am, I'm I'm scared to get outside his will. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, come so on, man. Anything you tell me to do, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm, do so I'm trying to take the high road on the negativity, but to get my personal space, that's yeah. different. Yeah, Because I can defend myself. For you sure. Know, even God cool with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but... I prefer man just to That's hard, people. man. But um so when you were in prison, did your son um ever come visit you? Yeah. Oh, so you were there because how is how hard is it, especially for a boy, to um not just educate him but but help him from behind bars compared to when you out here, you know, because boys gonna be boys, children gonna be children, they're gonna act up every now and again, just like you know, you did in the past. Um, it may not be to the extent that you did. But some sort of way, we all go through a certain thing, a certain time in our lives. Mm -hmm. How well were you able to talk to him and talk to him in a way where he listened? Where he talked him off the ledge. Right. right? It might have been in a situation where you was able to bring him back in. Man, listen, it's just, you know, um, prior to me going to prison, you know, I, I have three children. So um, one son, though. Okay. <clears throat> prior to me going to prison, we were close, you know what I mean? So, you know... Um, he just listened, you yeah. know, he just, but you know, he still went through those, like I say in the song, I said, I left my son in the ring with no referee. Wow. Mm -hmm. and I can hear him saying, daddy, they're getting the best of me. Wow. You know, I told him, hey, be strong, push your shoulders back, fight, show him your pedigree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's only so much, so I would make songs for him to listen to because I knew he was in music. That's oh, real. That's wow. real. 15 minutes on the phone. Yeah. You know, until wow. cell phones came through. <laughs> already, already I didn't do that. <laughs> Man, what did we see I somebody on that. cell phone last night? What you oh show me? Oh my goodness, something on Instagram. <laughs> this dude went live from prison, right? Then no, hold no. up, hold up. So he blocked. No, he blocked, he blocked the, the, the Chicago. It happened in Chicago PD. So he blocked them so called from seeing it. They commented under his live. You blocked her main page, but you really think we can't see all of this? <laughs> Hey, she's hey, going live 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 in prison all the time. Shout out to everybody. Just <laughs> going live with your shoes and drinkers on the weekend. I'm out here, baby. Hey, hey. Yeah, go live, you know. Um, I wouldn't ever go live. No, nah, that's no. crazy. But that's only because I knew it would you know, probably go right. bad. It, yeah, it can't. I want it to. <laughs> you wanted to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because especially when you see other people doing it and don't get caught. You're like, yeah. okay, I can do it's it. It's a too. setup. No, I knew I could. I knew that's just how he different. <laughs> but I got a question I knew, about I I prison. So um, while you were in prison, because I've heard so many different people's story that every time when they went to prison, whether they lost their mama, brother, uncle, you know, somebody. Mm -hmm. Did you lose anybody while you were in prison that, that was close to you? Yeah, I lost my mother in prison. Man. In prison. I'm um, 16. I lost my grandmother. I lost my uh, first cousin, like my brother Jerome. Um, 
And then each time I was in this shoe. Wow. Mm. Every time. So you that that take an effect. Yeah, that that's what made time hard, you know. Right. Yeah. Because I'm seeing, you know, because he he'll tell me they don't really do that. People, don't, they don't, the prisons don't do that. Because when you watch movies, because that's where I get a lot of my ideas and thoughts from, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you'll see where you can ask permission to go to your mother's funeral or whoever, and they'll take you to the funeral. But he was like, nah, a lot of these a prisons don't be doing that. So were you, happen. oh, you have seen it happen. Um, Slim to no security prisons or camps. Mm -hmm. But me, no. No. They like not, and you pay for it. You pay for the extra manpower. Where, so I offered to pay double and everything. And it still wouldn't let you no, go. Hell nah. no. So they didn't want to let me go on my release day. <laughs> That's the way you it know, be. The, for real, man. I, I got denials at every turn. You know, glory to God, I came wow. back nine years and two months. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for I started with 30, you know, and ended up with a 21 and 10. How hard was it uh, doing that? You had to be at the law library? I, that was my first stop. Yeah. When I got in, that's not overrated. You have to learn what you. You have to learn your case more than your lawyer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to know it forward and backward. You got to know. You got to understand the language because just one, one word can change the language, language. change the whole meaning. You know, if something pertains to you, or if something doesn't pertain to you. And I did that. You know, to learned degree. about writs and everything. You know, Right, you doing but wouldn't that thing. make you upset? Especially it depends on how your lawyer is because sometimes people can get these crooked lawyers who who just want to go up in status so they just feed you to the wolves. I've heard so many stories like that. So when you actually study and learn that, oh, my lawyer could have said this or he could have done this and this and this and he didn't. Wouldn't you. that make you just like... You. Hey, because in 2012, I was supposed to get back 15 years because I never knew I could get... A lot of people, this is... A, glad you asked Good that game. Question. A lot of people wanted to know, damn, black, why you didn't just take the 10 they were offering? Because they were offering me 10, mm -hmm. then they were offering me 7 to rat. okay? So why didn't you just take the 10 and be done with it? Because the lawyers told me that the most, I said, well, what's the most I can get? He said 12 to 15. I'm like, shit, crank it up. Let's go to trial. Yeah. So I went to trial. And then when they came back with 30, that was the underlay for the overplay, right? Wow. They had, now it's something called a relevant conduct. They hit me with all, all the relevant conduct and boosted it up. Even what is irrelevant conduct? Like they're saying, like, <clears throat> say for instance, uh, they charge say they charged me with six ounces of crack, mm -hmm. but I got six ounces of crack for two years. They're gonna charge you for that whole two years. That's mm. the relevant conduct. Wow. Yeah, you know, it's just some shit they make up just to get you more time. <laughs> yeah, just to be honest, you know what I mean. So they hit me with the relevant conduct and boosted up to 30, and the lawyers didn't know it. They didn't see it coming. Mm. So in 2012, I had an honest lawyer named Doug Green out this way, and then I had another one named Mike High School. Doug, and I was like, hey, man, this, this new thing came down to where, you know, if you guys just admit that you didn't see that coming, then they, they'll, they'll let me back in. I forget what it was called. So Doug was like, hey, man, I'll do it. You know, I'm sure it's going to be a blemish on their record or whatever because it was oversight on their part. Like, hey, I'll do it. My mom and my son went to Mike High School. Like, hey man, I'll do it. And uh, and uh, when it came time, so I'm in court, man. So now they're reading the, the statements from the lawyer. Um, crocodile tears in my eyes. Now I'm like, I'm gonna get out of here, you know. Even the 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 what do you call it, stenographer? Mm -hmm, I just said. Mm -hmm. Person typing, she was yeah. looking. She was like, "Oh man!" So they they had it wrong. They told them you couldn't give a twelve to fifteen because this is what they they're admitting. Right. Then Mike High School. Gets on the phone and said, nah, he, uh, we knew it was 30. Mm. He lied. Lied. So he lied. Committed to keep it, to keep his, to, I can't say why. Yeah, to keep his record. Let me, let me rephrase that. I'm not going to say he lied. He was just inaccurate. Yeah. And, and saying, I don't want to call the man a lie yeah. because maybe it was a huge oversight. But the other lawyer knew. Yeah, know? because it was two of them. It was two. Right. Two lawyers. Yeah, so both <clears> of them... Um, once, once they had, once they, hey, we we had no way. Even the, so, to to put it in perspective, even the district attorney said, we didn't know about the relevant conduct. We didn't see that coming either. Mm -hmm. So, but Mike High School did. So what? Yeah. And when you look at it from that perspective, like like, you you was in there fighting for your life. Yeah. So when you look at that. You weren't the only one fighting for your life. It was other guys. What were some of the even worse case scenarios than you, you know, because you've seen them. Yeah, man. A bunch, and I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's question. okay. It, that's, right. what, that's what made me start rapping in prison. I, I, didn't, I never want, I, I used to look at that like, I'm not going to be rapping in here. I'm fighting for my life. I'll be rapping while they hanging me. 
but I seen guys that that had heard about me and then they throw concerts and stuff in there. You know what I mean? I was in Beaumont at the time and other places too, you know, and so those guys that worship they had life. They had sixty plus six mm-hmm. hundred and twenty. You know what I mean? Um and they weren't ever gonna get a date. You know, it's a whole different body like I like to say it hit different when when, when you got a, a release date to say deceased. Mm. And so that's what they they were saying. So I'm like, you know, let me entertain these guys, give them something real, you know, something they they can respect. Because if I was a sucker, something up there rapping, they ain't even coming to see it. Yeah, because yeah. Because they know it's foolishness. Because they're gonna be there for the rest of their lives. Let's yeah. give them something to. So mm, for, good man too. First wow. day out, you get out. You you do first day out. I like it. I know you got some more heat coming that's mm-hmm. gonna be way, way Everybody more. Everybody do strong. first days out. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he it's definitely did it. He did his first day out. Yeah. I think it was early. I ain't gonna lie. I okay. think it was early. Okay. I'm gonna say that on okay. the I think okay. it should have been a little bit, you know, you know, you pumping, man. You yeah. you ready to go. Yeah. I get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I love your music, so I already know, you know, I'm a fool with it. You know, that was my you know what I'm saying? So I play that. I guarantee you, I can go back through my videos on Boss Talk. We've been doing this for two years, right? Mm-hmm. But I play the hell out of it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward. I already know it's going to be some bangles coming my way, but I already know that you're in a different place too now mm-hmm. because you ain't in the same place you was when you went in there. Right. You don't. People be saying, man, they show change. No, nigga, it got time pass, nigga. Man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm not looking for the same thing, but what really, <clears throat> for me, the highlight for this interview was that 10 year old. Was that son, right. that whole trifecta, right. where anything can happen. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? Sky's the limit still. The yeah. devil didn't take nothing. Man. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, what, what, when you came home, what was the, on your mind when you did, when you put that track together? Like, a lot of people, you know, wanted me to, hey, hey we gonna get here, here's some earrings, here, necklace, no. uh, I don't want nothing. I'm walking in there barefoot, you know, with my with no socks like Mike Tyson because mm, I don't want to get it on my chest. I get it. You know, so I went in there and I bit the mic on that one, right? But that ain't even close to the album. I already because know. Because you have a lot that you wrote. What? For all them years. Man, if, if y'all think because I'm giving God all the glory that I'm going to put out a Christian album or something, <laughs> stop yeah, right now. You my, have a lot. My wife would say, mm. <laughs> okay, that's not happening. This right here is all off the pavement music. Now, see, now the niggas got to break out them A-list beats. They yeah. was giving me, you didn't know I was rapping in prison, so they, oh, here go something, you know, it's black, you know. Now, they got to break that heat out now. Yeah. You know, when I'm telling you, Drew got so many, he's sending me a beat pack every other day from everybody, DJ Toomp, my main man. Yeah, Toomp, Toomp. Uh, Sean on the beat, mm. Sean's still, Sean working. Ball. What? I talked to this nigga hey, one time, up. Sean, you remember I called you? <laughs> no, I like to call niggas out on Boss Talk, hold okay. on. And you, did, you told me you was gonna call me back, you was gonna come on here and do this interview. You ain't did no interview, you running around here hiding in the crevices. I'm trying to figure out where the hell you at. I got your number, nigga. Yeah. I will call. Yeah. <laughs> but I love his, I love this movement of his, That's his good. Uh, oh, Sean on the beat. You got yeah. other producers that have retired. Yeah, I'm that came out of the woodwork. came out. What? Back. Like, hey, Black, I'm back. Hey, come on. We're going to do... Because they trying to make... You got other... Hey, listen, the whole studio where I record at, Session Works, almost every artist coming through there is pitching in to make sure this this project is epic. I know it's Yeah, good. because you have a lot of love, and they know that you're going to go hard on this album. Everybody know it. And it's so weird because... Let me ask you a question. Did you have all right? Uh, did you ever think about doing anything with Bun B? Yeah, I got two songs with Bun. Man, and, and again, I'm yeah, sh- because when I'm I Google Bun, you, yeah, first thing pops up is him with you on a picture, not yeah. together, but yeah. because when you came out, he commented yeah. under and said, you know, man, Bun has been super supportive. You dope know? dude, man. Man, what are you talking? I talked to him another day. Intelligent, very intelligent. I love this dude. Minded, but more than anything. You got a lot of these industry guys because I've met a lot of them mm-hmm. that just don't they're really not familiar with the streets at all right okay? and then you got guys like Bun and his exact words I was going to Starbucks give me a coffee we FaceTime and he said it don't cost nothing to keep it real black he said anything you I love do, it I'm back in your play wow yeah because you know a lot of these guys man you know not just because I went up under there and stood up under that pressure that stood on business and came home not just because of that but I played I play hard, and I did everything we supposed to do in these streets, man. So, um, 
a lot of the guys that 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 really understand the streets, then they like, hey man, a thousand dollars I'm paying homage, or hey man, hey, I got guys that pull up on me right now. Shout out to Zeke, man. Man, I can't go two days without him bringing me a Carlos. carload of clothes. No, of you course. Gotta get your Look at my nephew that got me with the payola. Yeah, yeah, Shout go keep it right. Go keep it right. I'm talking about. Because fashion changed yeah. from the time you left till Man, now. Listen, I just you. told you about the armor fatigue. You know what I'm Man, talking I'd about. Been cool that nigga in, know what I'm talking about. Suit. <laughs> but you said, People not wearing them big baggy clothes no more. Man, listen, you, that was back in the like, days. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> Man, look, you got, I got on, you know, I got on my straight joint. I can't show the, I don't want guys in jail to see me because I told them I wouldn't do it. But yeah, <laughs> I got him on. Man, what that food with it? So, give me a little bit of that food with it. Just how it sound when it's done. Come on. I'm going to blow my trees. I'm going to ride 20 something somethings under my caprice. I'm a fool. Man. I'm a fool with it. Man, you know, man, it was but, so but hard, man. Twisted black. I'm, no, I'm just, I'm just going back because I know how I am, man. I love the music, bro. You done built the foundation. You know how many people you made feel good with that song, bro? Man, that's that's a testament to Toomp. Toomp actually. Man, Toomp. He honed me. He honed my skills. Yeah. yeah. Man, Toomp is, man, Toomp is dope. Yeah, Toomp is, uh, he one of them real ones, bro. And I'm going to be real with you, man. Uh, the circle is, is tight, small and tight. We're going to get into some things after we off camera. But, like, you guys, man, y'all, like I said, you got, a, you got a lot of people looking at you, man. Yeah. You got a lot of people trying to figure <clears throat> out what you're going to do. I mean, what's the uh, what's the what's the move like? Like, when is that? You, I think you put a date on the on to the. Put a sixteen. Yeah, is that is that legitimate? Or are you gonna push back? Or well, well, I got a, I got a full album of different from prison. I'm talking about bad. It's hard. Okay. If if, if Drew and them don't kill me, I was just gonna throw it out there, right? Why not? But I'm gonna tell you why not because now you got your tombs. You got your shine on the beats. You got your stars, your young ballers. You got all of these people. It got to be very strategic of how you move. Yeah, they give me nowadays. Me, they give me heat now. They give yeah, me I only heat. get one chance. Yeah, because I'm already defying the eyes. And, and, and let me say this: I, I try to stay away from the negativity, but it's okay not to like my music. Yeah, that's cool. You think I, it's okay? It wasn't for you. Yeah, but if you're from the streets, if you really a gangster or any of that type, and you like music. Then nine times out of ten, you gonna embrace what I got to say. Yeah. And so I want to get around and get one chance, man. Yeah. I'm old. I'm not trying to come out here and be, mm -hmm. a, you know, an old ass. Come on now. Trying to come on now. Direct this career, but I love music, and this is my gift. So you know, I'm trying to really, like you talked about, my son. I want to get, you know, get it in, mm. run up the bag, and get my label started, move on to do to some work with stuff. him. Of course, get my son in position. Right. In my city, because Fort Worth rolled for me. Man, so all of those horror stories with everybody up, man, Fort Worth oh, rolled Dallas. for me. Yeah, they have, they have a lot of Dallas love. Dallas rolled for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about supporting me. Tom, Chief, um, uh, Tuck, man, they, uh, J Dog out in Houston, man, they, they kept my name alive. Wow, so, Mr. Man, Lucci kept, was in here too. Lucci, man, yeah, he did Mr. Lucci. For yeah, because I, I saw where you said that, and I was trying to figure out how hard is it for you to do recording. Um, a verse or anything there and then send it out to get it mixed and mastered with somebody else how hard is that it, for anybody else it would be super hard but there's this guy named jeff at session works again who would answer every call he would mix every song and have it sound like glass breaking for nothing mm. so i know this was just guy making provisions so for me to come out here and get on foolishness then you know i'm really I'm snub, you know, snubbing my nose. Mm -hmm. guy. I'm not gonna do that. So, yeah, mm. you know, I'm a, I'm gonna come out here and make music, and I guarantee you, anybody on the track that get a feature or want a feature or whatever, I'm a, I'm a punish them. That's what I do. I want to ask you about Mo Three. He passed away when you were locked up. Mm -hmm. um, you, you knew Mo Three. I talked to him one time. One time, through Bebe. Through Bebe. Yeah. What, um, what did you think about that when you first heard about it? Oh man, I hated it because he was he was special. So you got guys that are good. You got guys, you know, just because you get a big record, that don't make you special. That means you got you had a special record, you know. But he was a special artist, you know. Just listening to him, very very talented. He just had it. He had that it factor. How they right. call it, you know what I mean? And and to find out that he passed, you know, I hate to see him go so fast. You know what but I mean? how shocked were you at? how he passed in broad daylight 11 55. that's something you don't see on that on any major highway i've been here in texas 20 years and i've never heard nothing like that before yeah well that part about it didn't shock me much because i, I mean i don't i don't know him i didn't know him like that or what he was into but i just you know 
the street. Yeah, you know, the word. I got made it to the street. They say it was in the street. So in the street, you know, the street don't have lights. So it ain't really it's no. Just, it's, it's all. They don't all care where. Nocturnal. Yeah. Yeah it's, wow. yeah. yeah. It's all fair game in the streets. Yeah, you know how to. You know. Yeah. yeah it ain't so, no. It can happen right. anywhere. Wherever I see you on site, they say. On site. The mm. young, the young niggas say on site. Yeah. The old niggas been following there for years. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So, man, like, yeah, you didn't know I've been at that peeping tongue, man. They, it's closed now, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, no, I, I already <laughs> pulled up. <laughs> we were young when we yeah. been. Yeah. Boy, that was a long time ago, man. Now, I posted your gold card the other day. Did you? Remember? You know, I still got the gold card. They was yeah. laughing. They were laughing. I told them I had it. These niggas trying to play with me, man. Yeah. I get on this show and act up. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, they should have never gave me no cameras, man. You know what I'm saying? You got plenty, you got plenty of them. <laughs> so my next plenty. question is, so did you know Big Pokey? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He, that that happened since just, you been out, right? Yeah, I was just a fan. Okay, so how, when you heard about what happened, what did you think? Um, I still really don't know what happened. I just know he passed. I yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think they said it was heart condition. Yeah, it was condition. a yeah, heart, heart condition. condition. That's what I'm about to say. So you know, uh, I hate that man. You know. Yeah. Uh, and again, with soon. social media, the thing that I can't stand with social media is that yeah, everything, you know that? Everything, everything, happens right in your face, right there before you know. Back in before social media is like, okay, it's a protocol. Let me notify the family. Let right. me float, you know before they put it on the news and everything like that. Right. But if you're out in the open, everybody, the first thing everybody do is take up their phone and start videoing, yeah. ESG, and it goes straight to social media. ESG texts me, FaceTime mm -hmm. me, really. I didn't answer it. And then I look back and I text him, and he say, "Man, uh." He, he say, Big Pokey dead. i like, what? It's like three in the morning, bro. Mm -hmm. He hit me like that. Cause me and him, you know, we, we talk. And I was like, that, <clears throat> mess, that messed me up, man. Because it's so crazy how these same cameras and these phones and these cameras on these phones, you can have fun with them one day. But then the next day they can turn on you. You know what I'm saying? They I can be something curse. totally different, bro. Right. And it's crazy how, and I, you adjusting to how these cameras are coming out because anything you do yeah. can yeah. and will and be used yeah. against you. Yes, uh, <laughs> baby had hit me to that early on. She really, really, man, again, I tell you, she the best thing happened to mm -hmm. me out of, you know, out of, coming out of, I mean, with this whole experience. But she had been trying to get me help. You know, hey, she told me, Everybody's. It's always somebody recording, mm -hmm. and I and I kept that in my head. Then you know, of course, we watch TV, and I'm like, you can see somebody fall and hurt themselves, and the first thing they do is this. Yeah, uh -huh. it's not try to help them up. Yeah. <clears throat> so, please, if you see me, I, I don't mind you taking pictures and all that. Don't run up, put your camera in my face. Mm -hmm. They'll I'm do not it. Really used to that. You They'll know? do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know they will, and I'm not gonna go crazy. No, because they did it to me that. a lot of times. Yeah, that's, that's tough. And you got to be, you got to understand, man, a lot of these people have, a lot of, even celebrities have accepted it and people that they run into accept it. That's what leads these people down these, yeah. these roads. Yeah. So Because it you, comes norm. It, it becomes norm because you, you done seen it. You mm -hmm. done seen it. As soon as they, they come out with it at the Kroger's on me. They come out with it at the store on me. I come out the store with my hoodie on. This is the stuff that they do. Cause they want to be, they man. They excited to see you. They ain't yeah. ever seen. They see you like on this set. You gonna they, on, on real life? All of this stuff, man, is amplifying who you are and you own. Right. And when they see you, oh, they gonna express it, bro. But the crazy thing about it, like for us, like we just think of ourselves as regular people. Yeah, right. So just because, right. and all of this, just like how you say you feel so comfortable because of who we are, but we don't think of celebrities or anything like that. But people, when they see you on their phones are on the TV because they might put it on TV. Oh my God, you made it. You're a celebrity. You're this, you're that. But I'm like, but we're not. We right. just... Regular people. Regular, regular people. people. Yeah. And, 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 and the same O2 step. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Um, any genre. Any genre. Number one. Wow, that's a good one. I know. That's what we do. <clears throat> that's, that's a regular question. You know. <laughs> Number one. Michael Jackson. We get that. Uh, usual. Number, Number two. two. Let me see if you're going to do the regular one, two, three. Um, Frankie Beverly. Oh, okay. That's hard. That's hard. That's man. different. Number three. Damn, only three. <laughs> only that's three. That's it. That's what everybody say, too. Same thing. Prince. <laughs> Prince. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's I a like that. Yeah. Man, that's People a, normally I say like that Tupac, top three. Prince, and um, Michael Jackson. Well, yeah. if we were, if we were in rap, but when you no, it's any genre. Yeah, I know, but so I can't. This is only me. There's no comparison in talent with the um, with the greats, Mike's and the Princes, and 
the Frankie, Frankie the, the feeling you get when you hear that music is not unbelievable. Yeah, I get it. And then I still didn't get a chance to name Anita Baker. Shot at Ooh, mm-hmm. Anita Baker like, go hard. Hey, no, you had to cut them out. Yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, the Whitney Houston's got to cut Houston, them out. Of course, no so I so I, I really hope you drop that at, uh, album. I hope I hope you don't because what you felt on the sixteenth. Yeah, what you felt in there, I mean, I think it's something to it. You know right. what I'm saying? It is. It's, to it's be something hurt, to man. it, bro. Yeah. And yeah. unless you want to hold back and then do it a little later on. So kind of weave them together. Weave them together, yeah. Drew and never Drew and Wire looking that way, I'm going to weave it. <laughs> <laughs> Me and nephew going to shoot it out. Man. It, it's tough, though. It, it, but as you know, I was in my jail frame of mind, but it's good music. I'm talking mm-hmm. about it's really good music. So, um, you were talking about wifey and stuff like that. So, when did you meet wifey oh, in all of this? A few years ago. How did you meet? Um, yeah, she, she reached out to me. Oh, you know, I heard oh, this no, four no, years no, ago. Okay, 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 it was okay, four okay. years ago. I, I tell the truth. Uh, um, I was promoting one of my videos in, um, in prison. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I, me not knowing much about social media, I was, went through and, you know, you just send it to everybody and she was just one of the ones that commented like hey, man that's, that's nice i was a fan way back when cool and then um so you know that was cool that was regular then i think i just i went and looked at her pictures and she was cute i stalked her shout out to the phones that yeah, yeah. <laughs> i stalked her and um hey she can't but she was just being supportive as a friend right and then uh hey it forged into something great Cause so was it like because women are usually sometimes skeptical of you know talking to somebody while they're in prison because you know people say that when they get out they're gonna do this 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 and right. I've heard of, of stories that when they come out they go right back to the yeah, streets yeah. say this that whatever it's totally different so was there any um, delay with that for you did you feel that way Well I know she went through a lot she went through yeah because of because how hard we played mm-hmm. right so. She went through a lot of scrutiny. Mm. So what I would do, just to be honest, is I, I mean, what can you do? But except plan and prepare, right? Mm-hmm. So I couldn't wait to get out. To prove. And hoist her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna put something in your head. I'm gonna put something on your, on your neck. I'm gonna put you in this. I want you to look good. I want them to see us when we pull up here. We might dress it like, who gives a damn? You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted, them to know that she should be in stocks because she know how to pick them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all. Right. No, that's true. And did you fall in love before you actually got out and meet her face to face? I did, but but I never thought I could love her more, right? Mm-hmm. Until I got my first 48 hour pass, and then spend yeah, time. Oh God! And she made beef tips and rice and shit. It's over now. I always tell people the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yes, always. Lord. That's how I got him. Hey. Watch your mouth, you know. That's how, about how, you, how you got me? You, how how I got, got him, him and all right, that, right. man. So, uh, what's a, it was another song that you had back in the day too. I'm talking about these old songs because I, I want people to know who you is. Because yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you, the music ain't out. They need to be able to relate. Yeah, we trying to get them there. And how did you process that song too? Uh, Fool with it, like how did it even come together? Man, that's a good story. It, um, a lot. And I don't want to be too repetitive about like the other interviews, but tune. Man, to to me, you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Gave me the the music, and, and then he had it. That's when the franchise boys. Did you go down to Atlanta? Yeah. I did. Okay. I, hey, I was so square business, right? He was like, "Hey, if you come up here, then you can, uh, then I'll work with you." How I, did you meet him? I met him through some street ties. One of my one of my old um, mentors, Heavy, was cool with um, one of his his people, uh, Zoe up there, and they both, you know, they he's like, "Man, I got a producer plan. I want you," because I was rapping and mm-hmm. Heavy was putting the money behind me at the time. <clears throat> so we met oh my bad we, no, met, we met through some street ties and we and when I went down to the, you know he opened his schedule up because he was on I'm talking about Grammy nominations all that you know what I mean mm-hmm. was this be, this was before or during T.I. it was um, it was kind of after Oh, so you you were coming after T.I. Yeah, we going to ask about T.I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely going to listen. Let's snort cocaine. Whatever. Not true story. Yeah, let, let's, oh. let's, 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, let's back up. You see, she's square. She ain't going to know nothing about all real. that. So that causes that to keep doing that? Uh, I don't know if it's that or if it's That's that. what they say in all the time. I've heard it's something like drain, that. Yeah. Well, you didn't you didn't notice when Vita Loca came on here? <laughs> Why, nigga, go there, nigga. Let me you tell you. Yeah, nigga, I'm a bad nigga, man. man. But let me she tell told you. told you already that's how I go down. She sniffed three, four times sitting right there. 
Then she said she kind of cleared herself up. She ain't rocking with it no more. So you should know that these man, questions, you repetitive play, questions. You play too much. <laughs> it's like way too much. I don't. I don't okay. Hey, yeah, squares, man. You got you. these squares in the building, man. Yeah. I ask these questions for the squares because we it's do cold, have squares who are watching who nah, don't know nothing hey, about so, nothing. Man, I'm going to flash it back, man. You yeah. don't make me flash my stuff back. I say stuff. I got receipts, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in here just talking. Right. You know, it might sound that way, but I got receipts when the person say it. I just put it right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> so, but you should have known it back then, and you didn't, you wasn't paying I attention. I know. The only thing I've heard about when you when you snort or whatever, it messes up your, your canal right there. Right. Where um, it like it damages it, like it burns it away or something like that. Really? That's what I've heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, well, you know, she's Jamaican, she uh -huh. so they really specialize in in, in uh, weed. marijuana. That's all they do. That's yeah. all they got. You know, they ain't really got all the, natural. The, the tough stuff. You know, the right. tough all stuff. All natural, not they not watch not in the all movies. This stuff. You know, but they probably primoing over that. We don't know. <laughs> no, 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 we no, don't know. No. I don't know. We don't know. You know, I, I probably they didn't get past the primos in the nineties, nigga. Right, right. You know what I'm That's only here in the states. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. I don't believe you. I've been over there. I them, them folks like they own some. You mm -hmm. know. What I'm <laughs> On a reggae so, high. So let's get back to it, man. So you come in after Ti. Right. <laughs> you see Tip on the pay on the he a hundred times up on that dang wall. Yeah. But you uh, you, okay. you <laughs> I come in. He worked with T.I. before me. Okay. And so what I, you know, um I don't know what happened. But T, he wasn't working with T.I. when when, when I you came. was dealing with him. Okay. Yeah, so uh, out of all the people that he was fooling with, he chose me. He allowed me. He said, you know what I'm I'm gonna take a chance on you. He saw something special in you. He did, man, and uh, and I appreciate him for that. So he he kind of groomed me with my. I was already rapping, but he groomed me. Hey, man, this you know don't rap at the people because I believe your stories. Hey, you gotta trick it, turn your voice to an instrument. You know what I mean? You gotta you make it melodic to where they follow you. You gotta put some kind of you know make it smooth. You know? Yeah. And I I went and got me some perp and and, and some drink. And I sat in, I had, I went and got a place down there to show him I was square business. I was really? Right on West 2. Man, you having paper. I remember oh, yeah, you. I was loaded. Yeah, you were yeah, rocking out with yeah, him, baby. You making Texas look yeah, good, yeah, man. I was, I, I was proud. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, me, me and the press machines, we, we, we got money. Yeah. So when you when you heard the beat, he produced, you know, man. you heard them, you heard the, you heard the it was the flute. Uh, what was, it was. That's what it was. Yeah. It was, the, it was a flute. And when I heard that, I, I, I knew right then, I said, this the one. Yeah. I don't know how I knew, but I knew. Yeah. So I wouldn't even write it. I wouldn't even write it at the studio. I went and got my mind right. Like I say, I'm sitting Indian style by myself. And I started thinking back to my partners like T Cag, Lil Lee, Lil Riochi, you know, all these young boys, they had super swag, they had the big wheels, the caprices and all this here. I was like on a different level. I was already not that I had more money. I'm not gonna say it was a big or little, but I was older. So I'm 745, Benz, Vet, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Acura. Enjoying life. Right. Well, I'm just saying. He that, just can paint the picture, visionary. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. but I, so I used they swag, for yeah. me, you know. And I, and I started to think, okay, how could I fuse this, you know what I mean? And I sat, man, and came up with that hook first. Yeah. I'm tell my cup, mm -hmm. I'm a, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. I'm a ride 20, some, mm -hmm. my cup. Then I came I'm to me. Twisted black. Half man, half beast with it. White tee with the penitentiary crease. Oh. You might find me in some Air Force Ones and the beans and the plate say Air Force Ones. Man. Like the street dude, known for my wordplay. Dr. Doolittle, I'm in with the birds say twisted, blow your wig back like a hairdo. A little wound right up on my jaw, don't let it scare you. So now I was in my zone. Killed it! See, I took, Killed I took it. them for the hook yeah. and put me into the song. Me. Mm. Into the verses. And hey, I'm gonna tell you something. If you like that, I love it. Then wait till you hear this album here. It going down. I didn't know what the funny thing is. It going down. You know what the funny thing what? is? What? You see, he's the music. I'm head, really crazy right? about this music, man. I love. I like <laughs> to hear music, especially you know upbeat music. Right. Let me feel like I want to dance, go out, yeah. do what, whatever. But I knew that song. I know a lot of songs, but I don't ever know who's singing. Okay. Or who rapping. I'm one of those people. Okay. So I even did. like I when he's it. rapping that, I'm right. like, in my mind, I'm like, dang, he did that? Yeah. <laughs> That's I'm my like, boy, man. Oh. Like yeah. I said. And I love that song. Right. 
Man. So, but how many people out there are just the same way who right. know the songs but don't but know don't who? Know the, the person, yeah. Man, people tell me we're crazy when we play that whole nigga. We were up in that whole nigga. Money everywhere. <laughs> 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 I'm on that pool table. It's two in the back. Yeah, definitely. Stop so. playing. It's, it's two right there to the side. <clears throat> I think it's a well, star child. Whatever. It was a darker school. Well, I used to be this old school nigga could shoot up in there. Yeah. I was handling it, though. Yeah. I, I loved it, man. We shoot every day, and every time that song come on, I knew I was part of it. Yeah. Nigga. Oh, it's going down right there. Say, but I loved it, bro. I, I got a question it. for you. Go ahead. So, but the way how time has changed and the music has changed a little bit, do you feel like um, he has to change his style a little bit mm -mm. to go with the time? I think he's going to do that anyway. He's changed over the years, but I think people know the that. Sound, they know not his, what his tonality right. is going to be the same no matter how you look at it. Your your voice, your your you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But the way he twists and turns around those, I'm pretty sure that's been changed over the years. He don't, he he is who he is. But when the beats collab, he gonna know what to do. Man. I think it's gonna be spiritual. Church, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Church. Hey, hey, because guess what? This is what I wasn't gonna do. And if anybody think, oh yeah, I remember that song way back when. If you think you're finna push play on this album, and you gonna hear that swag, that forget about it. I, every the the. The format that, that everybody's rapping to, I studied the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would be sitting in the day room. We watching videos, watching Forty Two Dub, we watching uh, Ice Wear Vezo, we watching Lil Baby and all of that. Baby Money Up, P yeah, yeah, all yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So while they're watching the TV, I'm watching them watch the TV mm -hmm. to see what they like. Mm -hmm. So I'm studying the game as yeah, we went. Yeah. So man, listen, everything is up to date. Nothing's dated because I'm into music. Yeah. You don't you don't want to keep using the same old chords. How they did from the stylistics if you're going to be singing with Chris Brown. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, right. yeah. So, nah, it's coming. Man, what? Man, I'm going to tell you something else before we go. Oh, yeah. Solo Lucci. Mm -hmm. Yeah. L uh, Lil Ronnie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to let me do it. Okay? They ain't going to let they me. They done call. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was in the studio like, with Solo, Solo Lucci, Lucci all yesterday, and then one of my partners from prison, Turk, and I mean, we had a session up there because me and him got a song. Yeah. We're shooting a video right now. Hard. You a solo Lucha? It's called Say That's cheese. my nigga, man. Yeah, he was here the other cheese. night. It's called Say Cheese. Hey, hey, man, he's a hell of an artist. I know you. Man, he's he a character. Very talented. So he was like, uh, see, 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 when you were rapping, it was like this. See, you be like this, right? See, but I want you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, so uh, here I am. You know, like, <laughs> that shit, come on. So I'm like, oh, but I'm already on it. You're so on when it. he pushed play, he was like, damn, you already there. I'm like, right. yeah, I was studying y'all. That's what do you it. think about the because drill music is something that a lot of people are doing nowadays. Yeah. What do you think about this drill, this new drill music that all of these youngsters but, are yeah, doing? Yeah, it, it's it's different. Because you say you you listen to music, so I know I you've heard well, it. Yeah, listen, I don't have nothing bad to say about any of the artists um, or their music because they're the so talented. Yeah, they really are. It's just a different style. Um, you know, they talk in their experience, or you know, someone putting a little bit on. It's cool. It's, it's music. I think they're very talented. It's, um, it's not my lane, you know what I mean? Because it's just not, you know, it's just not my lane. But hey, they super time my ass off to them long as they can be I think a lot of these listeners, a lot of people are, I hear people saying, I'm tired of this negativity. I'm tired of the shooting, the killing, the this, the that, in the music. Of course. You know, so I, I think that era, I'm hoping, is, is, is dwindling down and a new era is coming around where you're not going to hear a lot of that because when we become parents and you know that this is what your children is listening to. Right. You know what I mean? Nobody really wants their children to keep listening to that. So. Man. I just don't think that's going to happen. Man. You don't think so? No. I think the, this is just, and I don't want to be pessimistic, no, go ahead. but the world is the world is only getting worse. Getting worse. And, and when these guys go in there and they write, they only write in their experience and it's just getting worse, you know, but don't mean I have to do it. I went through 17 years of two months of hell, but I'm not going to give you that on every song. But I'm a, I'm a, Weave it with pain. You know, I like to get money. You know, I'm a hustler. You, that's my first thing. Why every time you see me, that's that. Oh, you just on a bass sound, hook them horns? No. Hustler, true yeah, hustler. Yeah, mm. yeah. But at the end of the day, um, they got their lane. Listen, man, I done got with Twisted Black. I done got hype on the music. Uh, mm -hmm. You and the elite cl crowd, uh, Ice T. I had him do colors for me when I interviewed him. Right. You know, what I'm saying I'm that guy. Like I'm gonna get the music out of you. Right. I'm pulling for something because I know already that that's that that art is something that changed lives, brother. Right. You it know what I'm saying? Right. 
So I be loving it, man. I, oh, run and spill some. One day you hear it, and then you're gone on that on that uh, uh, UGK. I had him in here. Like I love the music, bro. I love to pull it. You know what I'm saying? And every time I get an opportunity to sit down with y'all, man, really, you guys, man, legends, iconic. You know when it come down to what y'all done, nobody will never be able to do what you done, man, in the way that you did it. So thank you so much for what you gave. Man, thank you guys, man, and thank you for your. Profession. I hope you enjoying this show, man, because I'm getting down. I'm giving you everything I got. Yeah, man, man they, <laughs> they really ought to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, you, you put on a good one. I man, thank yeah. you so much, and man. Listen, let me say this before we go, because I, I got chastised for this. For sure. Follow me on Instagram. I will go get you anyway, <laughs> say it. Say it. Follow me on Instagram, at Scar for Life underscore entertainment. And all other pl uh, social media platforms is the, the real, same. The real Twisted Black. Okay. And I, your website? Is... Whatever he say, the website is <laughs> realtwistedblack.com. Real Real twistedblack yeah. Um If you could go back, you know, no, I'm gonna scratch that. If you were not able to be around the situation, even to speak on it, and somebody was doing a documentary on Twisted Black, just give me some of the things that you would want them to say about you. Um. And he played hard and he played fair. Wow. You know, uh, like, I did my best. Wow. I, I did my best, you know what I'm saying? I'm not better than nobody else. I just, I do my best. When it comes to music, I do my thing. Man, I'm going to say this to you before you get off here, man. The only thing is what you done at the end about that Instagram and all that. This game now is a brand game. The music is a percentage. But it's not the whole thing. So all of it, the whole, your movement, when you walk in the door, when you come to a set like this, whatever you're doing, that behind the scene is so important. Everything you do, people want to see a portion of it. You might think it's nothing, but to them, it's everything, brother. That's the thing. Everything you do, every move you make, everywhere you go, get that special someone that you can trust, whether it be your wife, your friend, have something to where you can capture that because all of that is content over create. Mm. So it's just content over create. Okay. It's not about the creation as much as it's about the content. I know. So you, they want to see. They want to see. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say, man. Hey, man, that was a good game. <laughs> no, for real. It's crazy because I was just sitting at the studio and there's a white engineer there and uh, he just told me that he's yeah. like black. Con they want the content. More than that, your content comes before the music. It does. Mm -hmm. And he said it sucks, but that's the way it is. That's, mm -hmm. that's the name so of the game. They want the content you give to them. You give know. it to them. So, you know. Yeah, everybody, everything about you right now is so important. Yeah, but everything for everybody. I get it. Yeah. But you ain't going to give them everything. You're an artist. You should be able to project your artistic way oh, into their life. I don't never want to argue with you. <laughs> Come back quick. I don't never want to argue. Oh, you got your hands full. Oh my. We both uh, do. We, oh, she tough, uh, man. We both do. Oh, that, 20 years. We both going down, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> both Leos. We three oh, days apart. Oh, man. That's crazy, man. Check it, man. <laughs> Say, man. Listen, man. Thank you for coming on the show. We love you, Twisted Thank Black. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out.